Uh, my name is Ashwin. Um, I run engineering uh, for a company, cybersecurity company called uh, Cyber. Um, I'm here in my personal capacity, uh, so I'll not be talking anything about my work. Uh, and a uh, lot of thank you to the organizers, principals, sir, everyone for having me here. So I was asked to give a talk about innovation for the masses, um, and I am someone who has always gone against the tide. Uh, if everyone is going this side, I have always in my life gone this side. So I think that will reflect in some of the slides also that I have put together. Um, being a college, uh, you know, and everyone here is looking for a degree. My first, first slide is set of people who are entrepreneurs, innovators, who have all dropped out from college. Okay, uh, so uh, all these people at some stage or the other, they dropped out of college, not because they did not like uh, what they were studying, but I think, um, you know, just listening to what they had spoken about, it's because they had some ideas, they were very passionate. I think through the day we have heard many speakers talk about passion, dedication. Uh, you will not be dedicated, you will never put any dedication, hard work, unless you are very passionate, you believe in the idea. So that is number one, that's most important, that's the reason I put here. Not because tomorrow I want all of you to stop coming to college, that is not the idea of this. And in this talk, there is nothing that I can tell here that suddenly tomorrow morning you'll all wake up and become innovators, right? Uh, it doesn't work that way. The goal of this, what I want to do is just bring a little bit of self-awareness, maybe ignite some thinking, thinking in a different direction than what we do every day, so that over time uh, we'll all be innovators, right? And innovators doesn't have to mean that you'll do something as big as this, maybe you'll do something bigger, but there's something that we can do every day uh, in terms of innovation. Um, before we so before we see what is innovation, let's just quickly see what is innovation for the masses, right? First one is uh, any innovation for the mass has to be something that is adopted by a large number of people, right? Uh, it must have mass support. I can innovate my uh, maybe my children don't have an option, so they'll adopt that. But that is not mass innovation. It has to make a huge difference to the community, to the nation, and all of this will happen only when uh, it is very easy to do. I think from the previous uh, 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 person who spoke here also, we know that a large part of the nation is still uh, struggling with literacy, um, struggling with education, struggling with knowledge. So unless things are very simple to adopt, those will not be innovative. People will try it, they'll just drop it, they'll go to the next thing, right? And I think in the morning, uh, Principal Sir also mentioned people will have attention pan for seven minutes. I think you have given too much credit with my children, it is 30 seconds. And uh, if they're, if it's me who is talking to them, it's just five seconds and they are gone. So uh, it has to be very simple uh, to adopt. It has to be disruptive. Disruptive means someone was doing it some way, the entire nation was doing it particular way. Suddenly something so radically different came. I'll take a couple of examples, right? It, it will usually be so uh, disruptive that it will kill some companies. That is why those who are in corporate or like, you know, in the future when you go join a job, the first thing everyone, every manager, every VP will be only talking innovation, innovation, innovation. When I was, uh, you know, one year experience, two years experience, I was always thinking, why are they talking innovation, innovation, innovation? Uh, I didn't realize that one day I'll be giving a talk on innovation. Uh, so <laughs> so uh, please keep that in mind, okay? Uh, and, and be nice to your managers when you join a uh, good job. <laughs> So, um, you know, um, like I said, it will kill some existing services. So that is why it's very important that we always be innovative. So tomorrow, if any of you are entrepreneurs, always you might have one idea. Don't stick to that. Keep improving it, right? Keep transforming it. Do keep doing something different. Otherwise, very soon you'll find out that somebody else has come with something better and the world has moved in that direction, right? It'll leave you behind. For any, mass, uh, for any mass innovation to succeed, there are two things. There'll be headwinds and tailwinds. Tailwinds are like, you know, it'll give you a positive and headwinds will like prevent. In, in an aircraft, if there is wind coming against you, it is like, you know, uh, stopping and like tailwind makes you go faster. It will save you fuel. So people are always looking for that, uh, uh, you know, uh, winds that will help you grow. Um, it will require that the timing is right. Right? There's always, uh, everyone says, right, right time, right place. Why? Because that is needed. That is the key success factor for any innovation. There has to be a right time and right place. Um, 
it has to have the right technology infrastructure in modern days even in the olden days whether you take even old wars like you know 1600 1700s wars were won because people used to have bow and arrow and suddenly someone came with a gun what a technological advance right it just changed the game right and then suddenly somebody invented cannons gunpowder chinese invented gunpowder somebody made cannons out of it they won all the wars that's it previously you were coming on like you know genghis khan used to come on a horse riding with arrow and all it's all over now right now everything has moved into cyber security that is why you know company where i work uh, uh, we make lot of money because all the all of the technology and wars everything have shifted to cyber uh, so that's very important the technology uh, and also some level of push may be required from legislation like you know government support and so on so it depends on the area in which you're trying to uh, innovate i'll just take a couple of examples one something that has helped the nation and second one something that we all enjoy every day right npci i think npci everyone knows npci payments corporation of india uh, they started um, and like you know npci is very different from google pay npci is the overseeing um, uh, framework legislation they take care of all the governance google pay is just an app that uses lot of the backbone uh, so don't confuse npci with google pay uh, there is also phone pay that's why uh, so, so um, very important if you just see that as an innovation right i think when uh, even this was proposed in the parliament there are a lot of like you know reels and so on where the previous finance minister said that you know what are you talking about um, you know the person who is selling vegetable doesn't have 2 rupees to eat food how will he use mobile phone to exchange money and so on but where are we today our online transaction person to person beats usa and china combined right it is that that much innovation has happened in that area that has created so many apps that has created so many jobs that has enabled such a big economy to boom imagine if we still had to rely on cash no one wants cash these days believe me no one wants i uh, mornings when we had this uh, uh, i the puja and all of that um, because i was busy the previous day i could not buy flowers morning we went to buy flowers we bought lemons for the car all of this uh, it costed uh, 10 rupees she just said google pay Google Pay Madi sir, na matra yaro cash to orla yoga. So imagine how things have changed. It has one of the biggest benefits that people don't realize is that you know previously it was all uh, informal economy, cash. Everyone just gave cash. So no one had a digital fo economic footprint. But today the same cash, nothing has changed. Same cash, same amount is getting routed through a bank. Everyone has suddenly all those street vendors have become credit worthy. they can go take a 10000 rupee loan they can take a 1 lakh rupee loan sbi uh, modi has mandated that sbi and all these banks have to give loans to smes and people in the uh, poor sector right daily wage laborers they would never have gotten a loan if not for this so what a innovation what a change it has done to this country uh, we must be eternally thankful second one is simple who does not enjoy netflix Netflix has been there since 19 late 1990s can you believe it but it never picked up because the technology was not there there was no internet there was no high speed bandwidth right but now everyone enjoys Netflix on their mobile to the point that i have a tv i have a tata sky connection which has been disconnected for 2 years now and i'm still paying the monthly rental um, <laughs> but that reminds me i have to stop paying that um, um, but that is the kind of innovation that is the transformation that has happened who is watching who is not watching the current world cup on their mobile or laptop everyone is who is watching it on a tv almost no one right everyone is watching it digitally on on the internet no one is watching tata sky which is now a problem for tata sky because they did not innovate correct so they will probably have to find a new way to innovate that is why you see reliance is buying all of these major companies and so on especially in the digital area because they have to compete with um, amazons and flipkarts of the world who is going no one is going and buying clothes even this i bought online right who is going to shop and buying because i will buy l i will buy xl i'll return the one that i don't want correct so unless companies are innovative so but look at the opportunity that is there for everyone here a single person sitting in a village can kill reliance can kill google can kill do anything that is the opportunity and age we live in keep that in mind the goal of this talk is to trigger these thoughts and uh, make you feel that you are entrepreneurial right and you can do that innovation <coughs> innovation where does it come from 
it doesn't begin with like you know two people sitting and say let's innovate it doesn't work like that right um, if you say let's innovate then you'll quickly realize okay we will have coffee we'll innovate later right that's what will happen i think that's not the way to innovate uh, <laughs> it begins with the people around you you know you being uh, very receptive to a lot of things um, and it doesn't work because your principal will come and say like tomorrow by tomorrow morning i need two innovations on my table it won't work although i'm sure i have said it many times i'm sure principal sir has said it many times i'm sure it does not work like that right innovation comes from the passion like i said the first point again right it comes from passion it comes from the feel from the desire that's deep inside to make a change it's an idea that you believe that idea has got nothing to do very rarely does it have something to do with innovation it comes because of your social experience about the people who you may have been with you seen like you know there are people who are very emotional they might have seen some people in trouble they feel that you know they have attitude to help and that's how innovation comes or somebody just wants to make a lot of money right and they have an idea and they feel that they can do they can change the world for the better and make money about it right that's the difference between social innovation and just technical innovation where you just make a lot of money out of it steps to innovation number 1 because i am in college i have to say don't create a course on innovation and don't create a exam on innovation so you are all safe please uh, don't worry about it so you will not get a uh, exam on innovation um, so that's very important but jokes apart um, some people are born to innovate some people are not but you can still do some things right number 1 most important thing observe everything around you and question everything around you right don't accept anything by accepting your education sorry in college by accepting your education by accepting what people tell you are being pushed in a direction to not innovate right because innovation is doing something different and education is about teaching you what is already known so it is north pole and south pole that doesn't mean again please don't drop out of college that's very important uh, but question everything sometimes to do something great you have to unlearn that is very important always be ready to take new ideas right frames frames are what is what i see i'm seeing a room all of you sitting that's a frame question every frame what we see what our brain interprets is a combination of what we have gone through in our life right it is just neurons that are firing but you can train it to do different things question question this room question everything that you see everything that you see can be made different number 1 number 2 get up do something right decision right i think the first talker uh, first speaker today said deci- decide best decide don't ever think i i i have always i've also done that like sleeping on my bed hey i can do this i will do this i will learn 100 crores i will learn 200 crores does not work get out of bed do something maybe then you have a chance right i think everyone has done that so that that is a anti innovation if you want to do innovation get up and do something that's very imp- um, uh, uh, important get very uncomfortable right if if you are not sweating right from places in your body where you did not know existed that means you are not being challenged that is very important you should be scared there are many times in my current role where i have been genuinely scared but that has forced me to innovate that has forced me to look for different solutions so get yourself in situation where you are very uncomfortable do not get in a comfortable place um, over time like some of you will get good jobs when i was entering i saw like many people got like 40 lakh job 50 lakh job don't get comfortable that that will get you nowhere right innovate get yourself outside of the comfort factor that is very important challenge yourself the that's what we were discussing in the morning the moment you stop challenging yourself that's when you age you don't age because you hit like 30 40 50 60 you age because you stop challenging yourself so look for challenges get un- uh, get uncomfortable and create solutions that is very very important i'll just end by saying that you know a uh, uh, few ideas in which few areas in which like in the future there's a lot of probability a lot of possibility for all all youngsters to innovate actually why youngsters even for everyone to innovate there's no age for innovation um, 5g as a technology is coming up right that's a huge area of innovation uh, there are tons and tons of things that we can all do explore it that simple if you want like one idea out of this 5g today when you go to tomorrow there is sunday there is a chinna swami stadium there's a match india and netherlands i know because i have ticket i'm going um, so there uh, <laughs> so 
when you enter chinnaswamy stadium your mobile works uh, stops working 3g 4g networks get congested they don't work but 5g has a solution for that for example so there is some innovation that you can do over there for example financial inclusion i am a firm believer that we don't teach enough finance to our students right when they go out they suddenly have like 3 lakh 5 lakh 10 lakh 40 lakh jobs they don't know what to do with money suddenly they find that they are 35 40 years old they have no savings absolutely no savings huge things that you can do every some of you might have heard of zero da some of you might have heard of small case there's a lot of innovation happening in that area that's another area where people can innovate for sure education sector i think we have seen enough talks i will not say anything about that so i'll uh, okay i'll end by saying uh, thank you so much for uh, spending some time here with me uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts and maybe have a few laughs together and i wish you a great day and uh, hopefully you'll all have good lunch thank you